And the last example that I have for you, uh, even quicker. All right, so sorry, bringing your concept art to production was the idea here, taking those 2D sketches and then using those as a launching point into your 3D designs uh, by tracing over them and then you know, constructing surfaces. Uh, or you could even do extrudes and, and other types of techniques if you'd like. Um, similar idea, but a bit more pronounced, is uh, with the speaker example. And in this case, instead of starting in a 2D sketch, uh, we really want to take some, some surface concepts and use those as the launching point into the rest of our design. Um, let me show you what I mean by that. <clears throat> Again, if you have any questions on what Jason has been doing, you know, any questions on the actual techniques, just send us a chat or a question, and uh, we can reply longer by email or shortly by, by chat. All right, so here's a bunch of intersecting surfaces. And you know, clearly, this doesn't make a speaker all by itself. Um, but from this, we're going to need to develop several different components for this design. What we can do is take these, this set of surfaces and reuse them over and over again in several other parts. And SOLIDWORKS does that associatively. So when we make changes to this master, those changes propagate through into any of the parts that we build from it. And that's true of the remote control example as well. So let me jump over to just the front of the speaker assembly here. Right? And this was developed from those original surfaces. So here they are brought in different color here just to emphasize that. So same set of surfaces. Uh, and then by trimming them against each other, uh, and I'll just give you a really quick example of that. I could, for example, just grab these two surfaces and decide that I want to throw out that outside and that outside and start building my way into a part. You see how that works? All right, so we go and pick and choose the bits that we like to keep and the bits that we'd like to toss. And little by little, we make our way down to these leftovers here. Construct that into a solid. Maybe add some other styling on the side. And there's one of our parts. Right, let's take a look at the other part back of it. Same idea, same original set of surfaces, just combined with each other in a different way to give us a different part. What's the net of this? The net of this is you have one master that gives you these design concepts, and that's going to be a place that you can go to quickly vary these designs and play with them. And maybe I want this a little bit smaller and I want this spacing a little bit more, and I want this guy a little bit larger, and I want to take this overall shape and stretch it down a little bit. All right, and maybe the back of it, we don't want it sticking out quite so far. All right, so we play with those ideas here, and I'm just going to jump straight to the end, which I seem to have closed. And you can see that that is going to update with those changes for us. Oh, that was cool. All right, so those designs are carried through. Looks like I, uh, I may have broken my chamfer there. I'll have to go and change that styling a little bit. A little too pointy. 